Right now, striking University of California academic workers are rallying outside the UC Board of Regents meeting. It's happening at UCLA, and our Gene Kang is there with the very latest. Gene? Hi there, Frank. Hi there, Lou. Well, this morning, as you see, hundreds of those protesters are on strike, academic workers, and they say they will not stop until their demands are met with UC officials. As you see, this is happening, as you mentioned, right across the street from a board meeting, and there are a lot of folks here. We're counting at least 200 right now, and more are on the way. Right now, we know they're doing it outside of the UCLA Luskin Conference Center as a board meeting started at 9.30 this morning. This is the nation's largest strike involving higher education academic workers. We're going to weave our way through the crowd here. It has lasted for a month, if not longer than that. It disrupted finals week across 10 different UC campuses. Exams were scaled back, study sessions are canceled, and so much more. A lot of disruption there. Today, presidents of the Los Angeles Federation of Labor and UTLA are here speaking with a performance by the guitarist from Rage Against the Machine and Audio Slave. Now, for weeks, UC officials have urged the 36,000 academic employees represented by the UAW to resolve disputes through an independent mediator. The union says negotiations failed when UC did not make any new proposals. The university says they proposed salaries for part-time workers with take-home pay ranging from $29,000 to $49,000 over the next two years. Well, UC would pay for tuition and fees, but the union wanted a minimum salary of $43,000. So that's how they got to this point. Out on the streets on UCLA's campus, they decided to strike. This fight is really about who gets to participate at the university. When uh, salaries don't match with the cost of living, uh, that drives many workers out of academia. And it, that hurts the mission of the university. The university is supposed to be uh, uh, an engine for economic um, mobility. And for currently, it's failing at that because it's not supporting the workers that make the university run. And that fails the students uh, and the, pu the uh, public of California. Well, UC officials said in a statement they believe their proposals are fair, reasonable, and honor the important contributions these bargaining unit members make toward the university's mission of education and research. Back out here live, that is the very latest here from UCLA. Reporting live in Westwood, Gene Kang, back to you in the studio.